Friends, it's Saturday, November 25. This is the last day of our long series on the imperatives. We've gone through several of these uh, devotional books because you can always get our devotionals in a hard copy if you want. We'll send that to you. Uh, you can come uh, to Valley Presbyterian Church in Paris Valley and pick it up. Love to see you at our services. Or you can get it online or you can listen to these video devotionals. So our last verse for today is, the rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew, and they beat against the house. This is the house that was built on the sandy soil we learned yesterday. And that house fell, and great was its fall. Um, Matthew 7, 27. This is the word of the Lord. So Jesus does this parallel thing. He describes one house that's built on the rock, one house that's built on the sand. And in both cases, uh, there are storms. And this is to remind us as followers that we build our house on the rock doesn't mean we're not going to have storms. Um, our, our life is going to be able to survive the storms through our relationship with him. But the storm, we don't miss the storms. We're not guaranteed that the storms are going to pass us by. It's interesting. The rain falls in the just and the unjust, Jesus at one point uh, in the gospel says to his disciples. Um, and so there's a parallel here. The person who has built their life in the wrong code on the sandy soil, when the storm comes, they, they also are subject to wind and rain uh, and uh, to um, floods, all right? These corrosive things that happen in life. And, but so is the person who's a follower of Jesus. They are as well. Uh, we're not guaranteed uh, lives that are uh, problem-proof. However... If they're not stormproof, we are guaranteed a house that abides until the sun shines. A life built on the code we've been talking about this week, Jesus' building code, his words, is a life that can be sustained. And all the lives that are built on the wrong codes, eventually they dissipate and they disappear. No prophet, no teacher speaks like Jesus does to us. Let's pray. Lord, nothing lives that you do not sustain. Nothing grows you don't help plant water. Nothing lasts you do not touch and save. Help me always to remember this. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.